I'm back with my friend and Salem colleague, uh, Dr. Sebastian Gorka. He's host of the America First show. And uh, Seb and I are, um, well, we're kind of hosting or leading a trip to Israel from November 30th to December 9th of this year. And so, uh, Seb, I, uh, I'm delighted to be going on this trip. And to be honest, uh, I've never been to Israel. Uh, I believe you have. Um, give a little preview of um, what we're going to see. What's Israel all about? I mean, I've always wanted to go. It's kind of funny that I'm now leading a trip and I'll be myself, well, you know, wide eyed and gasping and, you know, wow, here's the Sea of Galilee and here's Jerusalem and here's Gethsemane and all the places that we've heard about since we were all children. Uh, and now we finally get to go and people get to go with us and hang out with us for um, for the better part of two weeks. Yeah, I, I'm so excited. As you say, I've been to Israel many, many times. The first time I, I went was in uh, 1992, a long time ago. And, and the thing about this trip uh, and, you know, is what you just said. So if you read the Bible, you know all these names. You know all these places. Jesus was a real man. He is our Lord and Savior and man at the same time, which may, means he walked the earth in those places that you mentioned. He went to Jerusalem as a child, as an adult. He went to the shores of the Sea of Galilee. He recruited his disciples from among the fishermen. He, he went to the Garden of Gethsemane. These places aren't just names in the New Testament. They are real places, and we will be standing there. We will be at the temple wall. We will be there on the shores of the Sea of Galilee. We're going to go to the Holy Church of the Sepulchre, where, where the body of Jesus Christ was, was laid down. This is the beauty of this trip. And even if you've been to Israel before, guys, if you're listening, you haven't been with me, you haven't been with Dinesh or with Debbie, so join us. It is truly the trip of a lifetime. And the, the great news is Israel has admitted we got it wrong when it came to vaccine policies with the vaccine passports. They've changed all of that. I'm not vaccinated. I've had COVID and I'm going to Israel. If you're fed up with the COVID blues, join us for a trip of a lifetime. You know the truth, Dinesh. It's not about the stuff you buy. It's not about the money or the things you accumulate. It's about the memories. And you're going to have some amazing memories on our stand with Israel tour. I mean, what you're saying, Seb, which I find really exhilarating, is that this is a trip that will expand your knowledge, expand your horizons, give you a deep sense of history. Uh, and it's one thing to read history in a book. Um, it's another thing to be standing on the rocks. It's another thing to be feeling the, the you know, the, the, the wall. And uh, but second, you also seem to be saying that this is something that could also encourage and fortify your faith can actually bring you into a deeper relationship with God because God is, of course, universal and there's a universality in the Bible. But of course, God also has a chosen people uh, and they happen to live in Israel. And God also manifested himself concretely in history in the person of Jesus. And he happened to be in that part of the world and he walked over here and he died over there. And this was the Via Dolorosa. And you're saying we'll get to... to trace those paths ourselves. Uh, absolutely. And not only that, if, if you're worried that this is going to be, you know, passages from the Bible every single day and reenactments, no, we're going to go to these real places. You're going to see them for yourselves, the places where Jesus walked the earth. And on top of that, you'll get an amazing sense of, 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 of Jerusalem, of Israel, of the Israeli people, the challenges they face the incredible diversity of that nation. So there's this also this additional geopolitical aspect that you will see that there's so much propaganda, lies about the state of Israel. We're going to see how diverse and incredible this nation is and the challenges we face. And we're going to have the best guide. We're going to meet the people uh, of Israel as well. So seriously, guys, if you haven't done so, go to standwithisraeltour.com and join me and Dinesh and Debbie 
for, for this trip later this year. I mean, Seb, I'm glad you mentioned the guides because people are probably thinking, if Dinesh hasn't been to Israel, is he actually going to be telling us about all these places? And the answer is no. Dinesh will be contributing to political analysis and talking about some of the history, but we're going to have seasoned guides who are going to uh, instruct people in what's going on here and what's what, what's the meaning of this and what's the meaning of that. So the website, guys, is standwithisraeltour.com. There's a limited window to sign up for this as a limited number of people who can go on it. So I think it's time to make your plans for, well, the dates are depart for Israel November 30th, back on on December 9th. It's a trip of a lifetime. So Seb, looking forward to it. And we're going to show people a really good time. Absolutely. Yes, guys, don't miss it. And we're going to have the very best guide possible and me and Dinesh as well.